Today we are going to repack a small stuffing box on this 21 foot electric drive boat. The first step is to open the existing packing box. We recommend using a large channel lock pliers as shown on the fixed end of the stuffing box while unscrewing the compression ring. This sometimes can be done easily with your hand as shown here but in some cases a second pliers may be needed to break the connection. Unscrew the stuffing box compression coupling and separate on the drive shaft. To determine the diameter size of the GFO packing required, first measure the outside diameter of the drive shaft. Here we measured 3 quarters of an inch outside diameter. The second dimension needed is the inside diameter of the packing box coupling. Here we measured 1 and 1 quarter inch inside diameter. Subtracting these two numbers resulted in 1 half inch, which we then divided by 2 resulting in a quarter inch GFO packing material required for this stuffing box. Remove the old flax from the stuffing box coupling using a pry tool making sure that all is removed. Wrap the new GFO material around the dry shaft until one complete turn is made marking this point. Cut the GF material at that mark squarely using a sharp knife on a solid surface. Sample test the cut piece to be sure that it makes one complete wrap and the two ends touch each other. Using the first piece, now cut two additional lengths of equal size. Using a blunted end tool, press the first ring of GFO into the packing box coupling. Be sure at the seam both ends are butted together. Next press in the second ring of GFO offsetting the start point by 120 degrees from the seam of the first ring. Now add a third ring of GFO offsetting it by 120 degrees from the second GFO ring seam. Do not force GFO into the packing box. It should fit snugly and should be tampered in. Move the stuffing box coupling to the fixed portion of the stuffing box stem and begin screwing it on. As it screws on, it will compress the GFO around the drive shaft and begin to tighten. Hand tighten the stuffing box coupling up to the point where water ceases to drip from the drive shaft. Do not over tighten as this will cause excessive heating and wear. If hand tightening will not stop the dripping, grab a set of expandable wrenches and add some additional torque to tighten the joint. It is recommended to run the drive shaft and observe the stuffing box during the initial test. Very light dripping is acceptable. Operate your drive shaft for several hours and then reinspect. If heavy dripping is occurring, tighten up the stuffing box a bit more until the point it stops dripping. If for some reason the dripping cannot be stopped, the wrong GFO size may have been used or there might have been some burrs on the drive shaft from the previous installation that will cause an uneven surface and not allow the GFO to properly seat. You may have to replace a drive shaft or have it turned down to correct the problem. After successful installation, your GFO pack stuffing box should last multiple years, easing the burden of having to repack it again.